Apple with a little padlock. Seen one of these before? These are just those little combination locks that you can get to go on your suitcases and things like that. Um, but I want to borrow somebody's ring. These of you have a ring I can borrow. Perfect. Can we borrow that for a second? Good. This is not an engagement ring, is it, by the way? No. Oh, change the subject call, should I? Yeah. Uh, it's a nice ring, though, isn't it? It's a nice, nice ring, right? What we'll do is we'll, uh, we're going to put it on the padlock like this, so it's, uh, so it's on there. Uh, and Sarah, I'm going to give you the lock. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around, mix the numbers up on the padlock. Before you mix the numbers up, though, what I want you to do is I want you to write the number down, just so that we know what the code is. I've already mixed them up. What? I've already mixed them up. You've already mixed them? Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's already mixed them up. Um, okay, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, right, it was an expensive ring. Maybe we could probably cut the ring off, but it looks cheap, so it wouldn't take long. Um, here's the really weird thing, is I don't know genuinely what the code is for the lock, so it's literally a brand new lock. Um, Colin, I'm going to give you the lock for a second. Can you see there's a red line on there? What I want you to do is I want you to just try some combinations. Now, it is possible that you could find a combination at random. It is possible. People can do that, right? So just try a few combinations. Pull the clasp, make sure it doesn't open. It is possible, though, you might, you might, you know, at random just find it and, and unclick it open there, but probably improbable because there's thousands of different combinations, right? Uh, now, here's the really weird thing. Pop the lock on there. I'm not going to touch the lock at any point. Um, this is weird, but you already know what the combination is without you already without you thinking you know what it is. Sarah, we've not we don't really know each other very well. We've met each other a couple of times, but I don't know you well enough to know your birthday, okay? What year were you born in? 93. I don't want to touch the lock, this is gonna freak you out. Pick, pick the lock up. You see there's a red line on there. I want you to put in the year you were born, which was what? 1993. Put in 1993. Just pull the clasp. Uh -huh. Isn't it weird that 1993 <laughs> is the actual number that unlocks the lock? And just check, look, if I close the lock up like this and we just check literally any other number won't unlock it. It's just 1993. So it's weird that you already knew what the code was before the trick even started. And that is locked for life.